This lesson's objectives will be a combination of functions and uh, arithmetic operators. So this would be a good review on how to use functions. Let's suppose we have a problem at hand where we need to calculate the area and the perimeter of a rectangle. So what we're going to do is we're going to separate these two concepts and associate each to a function. To calculate the area, we're going to have a function for that. And to calculate the perimeter of, uh, of the uh, rectangle, uh, we will also have a separate function for that. So let's go ahead and create the prototype for these functions. So prototypes for the functions. There will be two of them. And in our case, we're going to make them where these functions will do everything by themselves. So uh, they don't need to return anything. They don't need any parameters. Okay. So for this version of our problem, we're going to create another file, another version where maybe the inputs will come from main. So for now, these are two separate problems, each solved within its own function. So for that, that will be the simplest form of prototyping we can get here. So one will be the area. And notice by having nothing between the parentheses, <clears throat> it's equivalent of saying void. No parameters. Okay? So that is optional. We don't need it. And the same thing for the perimeter. Void perimeter. And notice here, Again, we don't need any parameters, and none of these two functions return anything. So that means they can work independently. Now it's a matter of calling them, but before we call them, we have to define them. So I'm going to define them after main, right? So might as well go ahead and do void area, and I'll formally define now what the function is. So float width length, okay? So we're going to ask for these two items. And we're going to print them uh, within the uh, print function. So printf calculation for the area slash n. And then we're going to ask for the uh, width and length. So printf enter the width of the rectangle. Do it one at a time if you want. And then scan F, percent F, that would be for the width. Ah, don't forget to put an and percent in front of it. Okay, we're going to do the same thing for print F. Enter the length. triangle. Uh, let me see here. I'm spell misspelling. Or, or this is a rectangle. Thinking of another problem here. Rectangle. And same thing here. We're going to do a scan F. Percent F. And that would be the length and percent length. Make sure your variables are spelled out the same way. And now printf area equal. So it equals this percent point two f slash n and that would be the width times length. So we're doing the calculation in the print statement right here and we're done. There's no need to have a variable for the output. The reason is we don't need it. So single percent. Now let's do the uh, perimeter. So void perimeter. Okay. As I'm working here, it's a good idea to save. Sometimes IDEs have uh, 
a habit of freezing, okay? So it's probably a good idea to f save every five or six minutes of coding. So float width. So the idea is the same. And length, notice these, we could reuse the same variables because they are local to each function. So this width here within perimeter has nothing to do with the width within the area function. Okay. So in this case here, well, this one we're going to ask to enter both of them. This would be a perimeter calculation. We're going to ask for them to be entered in one line so you get to see variation of how this is done. So perimeter for the oh, calculation of the perimeter. Just stay consistent. Slash n. And here, we're going to go ahead and do printf, enter the length followed by the width all in one shot. So we're going to do a scan F percent F twice percent F since you're going to enter two values separated by a space, right? However, you're going to store each one in the order that you ask the user to enter and percent width. Now for the perimeter we could have a, a variable that stores the result or we can simply do a printf and then perimeter equals percent point 2f slash n and then do the formula right here. So what would that be? 2 times width plus length. Right? And then make sure you have enough parentheses. This here just simply is for these two items. Okay? Times 2. Right? So this is your whole formula based on values that are already in width and length and they will be placed right here within this placeholder right here okay and then end with a curly brace that's the end of that function now let me just compile here for a second just to make sure i didn't make any boo-boos looks good no errors now if you run this program you simply get press any key to continue right so let's go ahead and run you would see that's all it does so how do you make it calculate the area or the perimeter? Remember, in main, you will call the function that you want. If you just simply need area, that's all you want. You could say area and call the area. So this here is what we call a function call. Well, let's say that's all we did. So compile and run. Uh, let's see here. Ah, my uh, comment. I did a, a C++ comment, so forgive me here. There you go. All right, so uh, compile and run. And there you have it. Calculate the area. Okay, so uh, enter the width, 23.45. And enter the length, uh, 56.12. And that's all it will do. It will calculate the area, and that's all you asked it to do. Even though you have a perimeter function, but you're not using it. The only time you will use it is when you say, okay, well, let me call it perimeter. So I want the function perimeter. Now let's see what happens when you do this, right? What's going to happen is now you, the area will run and then the perimeter would run in that order. So compile and run. Uh, let me see here. Did I misspell perimeter? Yes, I did. Peri meter there and perimeter let's compile and run and there you have it 
So now we're doing the calculation of the area. So it's running the first function, okay? And 23.45 and 12.45. Notice now for the calculation of the perimeter, it's gonna ask for enter the length followed by the width. So um, let's do the same values. Uh, 23.45 space and 12.45. And there you have it. Now you have the perimeter of that rectangle. Now let's do something um, fun. We could do something like this system. Pause, hold the screen right after you finish area. And then what I want you to do is clear the screen. So system, and that would be, I believe, CLS in DOS, since I am using a Windows-based, right? So if you were in Linux, you would type, it would be a clear, but I don't think there is a system function for clear in this matter. You need conio.h, and it will be, uh, it will be different. Uh, I could be wrong, but then you'll have to check. So, uh, all right, so let's see here, compile and run. And notice it's asking me for the area, which is the first function it's calling within main. All right, so 23.11. And the length of the rectangle, 67.2. And notice I have a press any key to continue. System pause is being executed. Now watch what happens to the screen. It clears out, and now it's running perimeter. So you can actually control how the console will behave with pause and CLS, right? And the uh, using the function system. So pause and CLS will be arguments to the function system to do specific things with the console. One is to pause it, one is to clear the screen. And now notice uh, we're clearly working with perimeter here, uh, and then we'll get another system pause right after that. So we'll enter the length followed by the width, so two and three, fine, you can do that. Okay, so now what would happen? So two, and, two plus three is five, times two is 10, right? So we've got a perimeter of 10. So if it's in inches, centimeters, feet, whatever it is, uh, then you, you can remassage your code to include the units if needs be. Okay, so for the next example, what we will do is redo the same example here, but this time the width and the length of the rectangle will be entered within main. 